Lightmatica is a very useful blueprint mod for Minecraft, and here's how to use it. Now I'm not going to go too in depth on how to install the mod, but the basic idea is to download the jar file and then put that into your mods folder. Anyways, let's get on with how to use the mod in game. The first thing to know is that the default tool for Lightmatica is a stick. Before you start selecting your schematic, hold your stick and hold the control key as you scroll with your mouse until you see in the bottom left of your screen a 1 out of 9 which signifies the area selection mode of Lightmatica. To get yourself a schematic of a build you need to select an area and then save it. So you can either press M then click on area selection or you can hold M then press S. Both of these will open the area selection menu. Regardless of how you get to the menu, what you want to do next is press new selection. Enter the name of what you want to call the schematic and then you can close the menu after that. And you should be able to see now that where you were standing when you made the schematic, there should be a box outlined by some various colors. Now you're going to need your stick again. While holding a stick, hold Alt and scroll with your mouse. This will begin to move one of the corners of the area selection based on your scroll direction and the direction that you're facing. Now if you want to move the other corner of the selection, one of your options is to right click with your mouse, but this will move that corner to where you're looking in the world. As you can see, the blue corner is now there. You can do this with left click as well for the red corner, but there's an easier way to switch the selection corner that you're set to. If you click M and S, and then click on configure, then configure once again, you can change the selection that you're set to right here, and then you can also change the coordinates of the two corners of the selection, then you can also move them to yourself if you want to, just like that. So what you want to do with this selection is select all the blocks that you want to save into your schematic. Once you're done selecting that area, the default save hotkey is Control alt s So on this screen we've got a few options. We can change the name that we want the schematic to be saved under. We can choose to ignore entities, for example if you've got a bunch of mobs in your selection area and you want to ignore them, then if you select this box, Lightmatica won't save that with the schematic. But once you're done, you can just click that button and it will save the schematic into your schematics folder. If you've got an old schematic and you want to put a new one in its place under the same name, what you can do is hold shift while you press save schematic and it'll overwrite the existing file. Once you're done with your selection, what you can do is go to the selection manager and you can either just deselect it so that it doesn't appear anymore in game, or you can completely remove it. Now let's go over how to add a Lightmatic from online. Once you've downloaded whatever Lightmatic you want to have, you can copy it from where you downloaded it to, then navigate to your schematics folder, which is located inside your .minecraft folder, then you can just drop the .lightmatic file into there. Now that you have a schematic, whether you made it yourself or downloaded it, let's go over how to load it in-game. Press M then click on load schematics. In here you will have a list of all the schematics that you have in your schematics folder, all of them that you saved or downloaded. Select whichever schematic you want to load by clicking on it, then click on load schematic at the bottom of the screen. Now you can close the menu by pressing escape and you should see the build in-game highlighted in blue. To move the schematic, hold your stick, hold control, and scroll until you have navigated to 2 out of 9 or schematic placement. Now by holding alt and scrolling with your mouse, the schematic will move. Depending on how large the schematic is, it might lag your game somewhat when moving it. If you want to rotate or mirror the schematic, you can press M and P to open the Lightmatica schematic manager, and if you press configure on the Lightmatic you're working with, you will get lots of options including rotate, mirror, and locking it in place so that you don't accidentally move it. Now that you have your schematic loaded and placed how you want it, let's go over the colors that the blocks might appear. If a block is highlighted in blue, then that means that the block does not exist in the world, but by the schematic's point of view, it should. If a block appears orange, then that means that the block is the right block, but one of its states is wrong, for example, a log is on the wrong rotation, or doors open when it should be closed. If a block shows up pink, then that means that it exists inside the schematics area, but it is supposed to be an air block. And if a block appears red, then that means that it's a wrong block in the schematic. For example, if the schematic needs an oak plank, but you place a piece of cobblestone in that block. And if you place a block correctly, it'll appear without any overlay. You can see in the top right of the screen what block the schematic needs, and what's wrong in game, or what state of the block is wrong. And if you want to view how many blocks are in your schematic, you can press M and L in game with the schematic loaded, and it will open up a menu which displays all the different blocks and the amounts that are needed. Now let's go over some options that you can change with Lightmatica. If you press M and C, you will open the Lightmatica config, and there are tons of options here. If you navigate to render layers, you can change whether you see the entire schematic at once, see one layer at a time, or see a certain amount of layers. I personally like to use the all below setting, and this allows me to change how many layers I see from zero up. If you set your options up like this, then you will be able to see any part of the schematic from Y0 to Y10, and you can simply change this in game by pressing page up to move that number up, or page down to move that number down. Now if you're in creative, you might not want to waste your time by building the schematic all by hand. What you can do is navigate to hotkeys in your Lightmatica config, go to execute operation, and set this to whatever you want. I personally set it to M and U. Now back in the game, if you hold your stick while holding the control key and start scrolling until you reach 5 out of 9, paste schematic in world, if you use that hotkey that you just set to execute operation, it will paste your schematic into the world, but keep in mind that that doesn't work in survival mode. Another useful feature is pick block last, which if you set to right click, Lightmatica will pick block to whichever part of the schematic you're looking at and place it. 
One thing I personally like is to have my schematic translucent, which you can toggle on in the config if you go to visuals and search for render blocks as translucent and change that to true. In the Lightmatica config, there are tons more options to use that I won't be talking about as this is just a beginner's guide to the mod, but feel free to look through them yourself and try options out. Once you're done with the schematic and you don't need it in your world anymore, you can remove the placement from the schematic manager or fully unload the schematic by pressing M, then going to load the schematics, then unloading the one that you don't want anymore. Now let's go through a bit of troubleshooting. If your schematic isn't appearing, try pressing M and G, and if that doesn't work, try pressing M and R and make sure that both of those are on, and then go through the config to see if there are any settings that might be messing with rendering. If your schematic is rendering weird or looks wrong, try pressing F3 and M to reload the schematic, and if that doesn't work, make sure your shaders are off, then try restarting your game. Now before I show you one more really cool thing, I wanted to take a quick moment to say that if this video has been helpful for you in any way, I would seriously appreciate it if you would consider subscribing, and if you did subscribe, thank you very much. Anyways, if you want to share schematics with your server without needing to have them download and add schematics to their schematics folder, there's a Lightmatica extension called Syncmatica. This is a separate jar file that can be added to the mods folder along with Lightmatica, and once you load the game with it, now when you press M, there will be two new buttons here, View Syncmatics and Material Collections. And if you play on a server that has Syncmatica installed server side, then you can go to this menu and see all the shared Syncmatics that have been shared with the server, and you can load them. The mod will load them in place, position them, and lock it all in place so that you can't accidentally move it. If you want to share a schematic, then you can go to the schematic manager by pressing M and P. Then you can click share right here, and if you hold shift while you do that, then it'll share the schematic with everyone on the server. Links to download Lightmatica, Syncmatica, and a link to Masses Discord will be in the description, and if anything in this video was helpful for you, then I would very much appreciate it if you would consider liking the video and subscribing. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.